So I am here at Perkbox HQ today and they have asked me to speak on what does flexibility mean for a dispersed workforce. I'm Molly, the CEO and co-founder of Flexa Careers, the employer brand platform for truly flexible companies. So 63% of candidates want remote work, according to our data at Flexa, which has compiled from tens of thousands of searches over the past year. Yet only 25% of companies actually offer remote working. It's pretty clear that freedom and choice matter hugely for candidates, yet companies aren't really keeping up with this demand. However, for the 25% of companies that are offering remote working, what does flexibility look like for them? If you're stuck at your desk from 9 till 6 p.m., then that isn't very flexible, regardless of your location. But what we have found is that remote companies are very often some of the most flexible companies in the world. How are they doing it? How are they making themselves that flexible? Well, first of all, location freedom is number one. Being remote should naturally come with the ability to travel and work from anywhere that you feel like working. But given the tax and legal implications of hiring from anywhere, there are two ways that companies usually tend to approach this. Firstly, by hiring from anywhere within the country that the company is legally registered in, but allowing employees to then work from anywhere for a defined number of days in order to avoid the double tax liabilities, but it does vary by country, so I'd recommend looking into that. Secondly, they can do it by using an employer of record, such as Deal, to employ someone from outside of the country that the company is registered in. What this means is that you're able to hire people that reside almost anywhere in the world. Depending on the geographical spread of employee locations, companies may set core hours or even abandon set hours completely, moving to a totally asynchronous working model. And they might use tools like Slack, Loom and Google in order to minimise synchronous meetings. Flexible companies also often embrace different working patterns, including compressed hours, maybe embracing part-time working or moving to a four-day working week. Although I haven't particularly seen that these incidences of different working patterns increase in remote companies versus hybrid companies, it's just another way of being genuinely flexible. However, flexibility doesn't stop at time or location. So when a company doesn't have an office, benefits also need to take centre stage, as there's no ability to be able to offer free drinks or massages or an in-house doctor or dog friendliness or team lunches. So some of the benefits that remote companies are offering and these are often from our flexified companies, include Paddle's Airbnb stipend to encourage employees to travel and work from wherever they want. We've got Capdesk's incredibly generous family leave, which includes fertility and adoption leave. We also have 45 days of paid holiday at Flexa. And Bymiles have a very generous mental health support through Spill and, amazingly, free professional coaching every single month as well. So remote companies are clearly thinking outside of the box and they're embracing flexibility in pretty much every single way imaginable. So if you're interested in finding out how your company compares to some of the companies that I mentioned and how you even compare against the market, both hybrid and remote, then please do visit flexa.careers and take our free quiz as it will give you some insights into your working environment, including what you should be doing and some potential opportunities to shout about and attract top talent as well. So thank you very much for listening and if you enjoyed this video then please do subscribe to Perkbox's YouTube channel 